Hey everybody, how you making out today? Today I'm going to be uh, making a special lunch here for me and my son because I'm off from work today and he's done with school. Um, it's going to be pretty simple. I got some frozen raw shrimp that's been peeled and deveined. Um, what I'm going to do is get some all-purpose gluten-free flour and put it in a bag, a gallon Ziploc bag, with some pepper, garlic powder, crushed red pepper, and I'm going to mix that all up. I'm going to take the raw shrimp, put it in the bag, and I'm just going to squeeze it gently for the, the flour and the mixture sticks to the shrimp. I'm going to be doing it in a frying pan today. Thunderstorms are coming in. Go figure. I was going to grill again and thunderstorms coming in. But it is what it is. Anyway, so I'm going to put some olive oil in that pan. I'm going to let that get hot. I'm going to throw a pinch of flour in there. Once it sizzles, you know your, your oil is ready to go. And then I'm going to put the shrimp in there 10 minutes on one side or until it's pink. Flip it over and then I'm going to uh, let it go for two to three more minutes. Take it out, put it in some hot sauce, mix it all up and whammo. You got some buffalo easy chicken. Really, Jim? Shrimp. I'll be right back. Thanks, guys. Okay, everybody. I put the mixture in the bag, as you can see. Now I'm going to mix it all up. As you guys all know, I'll have the stuff in my description. You probably should seal the bag. That would help. <laughs> um, I didn't measure because everybody's going to want the difference in the texture, the, the heat. And uh, But you just mix it all like that, like this. I'm going to do 10 shrimp because my son does not really want buffalo. He changed his mind, so I'm going to... It's 4, 6, 8, 10... So what I'm going to do is I'll be doing this just like normal shrimp, nothing fancy. Mix it all up like this. Like I said, you, you know, let the air out a little bit. And then just kind of press it on. See what I'm doing? You don't want to, you know, the shrimp, you don't want to kill it. And just so you know, I told you to cook it for 10 minutes on one side, this, that, and that. If you don't know, you really want shrimp cooked to about 120 internal temperatures. So you can always test it too. So that's it, guys. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on the frying pan. Do, like I said, 10 minutes. Flip. And then I'm going to do them for 3 minutes. So I'll be back when they're done. And we'll put them on a pull in a bowl. We'll mix up the hot sauce. And I'll show you the final product. Thanks, guys. All right, everybody. There they are. They didn't even take 10 minutes. I guess they were small, so, you know, just keep an eye on them. I just um, kept cooking them, and they flipped up, and as you can tell, they're nice and, and uh, golden brown and crispy. So now what you want to do is take your favorite hot sauce, and I always have some in a, in a container that I have because I mix it all up ahead of time. And, uh, and then you just put as much hot sauce as you want. I obviously, as you can tell, like hot sauce. So... There you have it. Simple, easy. You can put anything on it. You got celery next to it. You can get whatever, you know. Um, uh, blue cheese dressing, you can have it. I'm just going to have these because I like them like a real quick snack, my lunch. And I'll be right back in two seconds. And let's try them. All right. They're done. Everything is totally gluten-free. The hot sauce is a regular brand. You Google your best brand that you like. And, you know, make sure it's gluten-free. Obviously, shrimp. The flour is all-purpose gluten-free. I'm going to try one of these. Um, I've never made these before. Um, so it's my first time myself. So let's see what they're like. Wow. I'm amazed, actually. It tastes very good. I could taste the flour. With the seasoning in it, which I didn't think I was going to, being the first time. I'm happy I made this video, guys. Please start following and liking. I have uh, followers on YouTube. I'm on Instagram now. Uh, and um, Facebook. At find my my gluten-free finds. Sorry, it's my new page. I don't remember how I worded it. And on Instagram and Facebook. My gluten-free finds. Thanks, guys. Give this a whirl. I'm telling you. They're great. See ya.